Did you know that more than 34 million Americans have diabetes and around 88 million adults in the United States have prediabetes? That's a shocking one in three people. Just let that sink in for a moment. A third of all adults in the United States are grappling with a condition that can be a precursor to diabetes, a chronic disease that can lead to serious health complications and even death. This is not to alarm you, but to underline the severity and prevalence of high blood sugar and diabetes in our society today. High blood sugar while commonly associated with diabetes can affect anyone. It's not just about those sweet treats you can't resist or your sedentary lifestyle. It's also about your genes, your stress levels, and even your sleep patterns. We often think of diabetes as a disease that only affects the elderly or the overweight. But the reality is, it's much broader than that. It's a silent killer, lurking in the shadows, often going undetected until it's too late. But here's the thing. Our bodies are smart. They give us signals when something's not right. And when it comes to high blood sugar, there are signs. 11 deadly signs to be precise. And these signs are what we're going to delve into in this video. We'll take you through each one, explaining what it is, why it happens, and most importantly, what you can do about it. Because knowledge is power. And when it comes to your health, you want to be in the driver's seat. So, whether you're here because you're concerned about your own health, or you're looking out for a loved one, you're in the right place. This video could potentially be a lifesaver. Stay with us as we unravel the mystery of high blood sugar, and shed light on the silent killer that could be hiding in plain sight. Keep watching to find out if you may be one of the millions unknowingly living with this silent killer. High blood sugar doesn't always scream out loud, sometimes it whispers. Let's delve into the first three subtle signs that your blood sugar might be too high. Unexplained weight loss, frequent urination, and increased thirst. These symptoms might not seem alarming at first, but they could be your body's discreet way of telling you something's off. First off, unexplained weight loss. Now, shedding a few pounds without trying might sound like a dream come true to some, but when it happens unexpectedly, it might be cause for concern. You see, when your body's insulin isn't working effectively, it can't get glucose from your blood into your cells to use as energy. To compensate, your body starts burning fat and muscle for energy instead, which leads to weight loss. Next we have frequent urination, also known as polyuria. High blood sugar leads to an increase in blood flow through your kidneys, which makes you need to pee more often. So if you find yourself taking trips to the bathroom more frequently than usual, especially at night, it might be a sign that your blood sugar levels are higher than they should be. Lastly, there's increased thirst or polydipsia. This tends to go hand in hand with frequent urination. As your body loses more water due to excessive peeing, you naturally feel thirstier. It's your body's way of trying to replenish the lost fluids. But quenching this thirst can be difficult, leading to a perpetual cycle of thirst and frequent urination. These symptoms might seem unrelated, but they're all interconnected and stem from the same root cause, high blood sugar. It's essential to listen to your body, even to the softest whisper of these symptoms. If you're noticing these symptoms, it might be time to check in with your doctor. Don't ignore the whisper before it becomes a scream. Remember, early detection can be the key to prevent any long-term damage and keep your health on track. But there's more to high blood sugar than just thirst and bathroom breaks. Let's delve into the next four signs that could indicate your blood sugar is too high. Constant hunger, fatigue, dry and itchy skin, and blurred vision. Starting with constant hunger or polyphagia as it is known medically. This symptom is a direct result of insulin resistance. When you consume food it's broken down into glucose which your cells use for energy. However, if you're insulin resistant your cells can't absorb this glucose. So even though you've eaten, your body thinks it's starving and signals that you need to eat more. Next up we have fatigue. Fatigue is a common symptom of high blood sugar because your body isn't effectively converting food into energy. When your body can't use insulin properly, glucose remains in your bloodstream instead of fueling your cells. This leads to a lack of energy and overall tiredness. Thirdly, dry and itchy skin. This isn't a symptom that many people would associate with high blood sugar but it's fairly common. High blood sugar levels can cause dehydration and dry out the skin. Furthermore, poor circulation, often a side effect of diabetes, can also lead to dry and itchy skin. Lastly, blurred vision. High blood sugar can cause the lens in your eyes to swell, changing your ability to see. This symptom usually resolves once blood sugar levels are brought back to normal. However, if left untreated, it can cause permanent damage and even lead to blindness. Each of these symptoms is your body's way of signaling that something is off. They may seem minor or unrelated, 
but they're all connected to your body's inability to regulate blood sugar effectively. Understanding the science behind these symptoms can help you recognize the early warning signs of high blood sugar. Don't ignore these signs, your body is trying to tell you something. As if those weren't alarming enough, there are more signs that your blood sugar might be too high. Let's delve into the final four signs that should ring warning bells. First on the list is slow healing of cuts and wounds. High blood sugar levels can affect your blood flow and cause nerve damage, making the healing process longer than usual. This is because excessive sugar in your blood can stiffen the arteries, making it hard for blood, which aids in healing, to reach your wounds. Next up is frequent infections. High blood sugar can weaken your immune system leaving you more susceptible to infections. This is particularly true for yeast infections, as yeast thrives on sugar. So, if you're experiencing frequent infections, especially in places like your mouth and genitals, it's time to check your blood sugar levels. The third sign is the appearance of dark skin patches, a condition known as acanthosis nigricans. These patches could be a sign of insulin resistance, they often appear in areas where the skin folds, such as the armpits, neck or groin. The patches are usually dark, thick and velvety in texture. This is a result of insulin spilling over into the skin when your body's cells can't absorb it all. Lastly we have nerve pain or numbness, known as neuropathy. High blood sugar can damage your nerves, especially in the hands and feet. This can result in a feeling of numbness or tingling, burning, or sharp pain. Remember, our nerves are like electrical cables transmitting signals throughout our bodies. When sugar levels are too high it's like pouring syrup into these cables, disrupting the transmission. These signs are your body's final warning, don't wait until it's too late. Now that you know the signs what should you do next? You're probably thinking, well it's time to take action. High blood sugar doesn't have to be a death sentence. It's a manageable condition, and with the right tools and mindset, you can keep it under control. Firstly, regular checkups are critical. This isn't just about blood sugar tests. Regular checkups allow your healthcare provider to monitor your overall health and detect any potential issues early. Remember, early detection is key to managing not only high blood sugar but many other health conditions as well. Now let's talk about lifestyle. A healthy lifestyle is your best defense against high blood sugar. This includes a balanced diet, regular exercise, adequate sleep, and stress management. When it comes to diet, focus on whole, unprocessed foods and stay away from sugary drinks and snacks. Regular exercise helps your body use insulin more effectively, lowering your blood sugar levels. And don't forget, adequate sleep and managing stress are equally important for maintaining healthy blood sugar levels. Treatment for high blood sugar varies depending on the cause and severity. It may include medications, insulin therapy, or even surgical interventions in severe cases. But remember, these treatments are most effective when paired with a healthy lifestyle. It's also essential to stay educated. Keep up to date with the latest research and advice. Reach out to health professionals, join support groups, and make use of resources available. Knowledge truly is your best weapon in this fight. In the end, managing high blood sugar is about more than just avoiding unpleasant symptoms. It's about taking control of your health, living your best life, and ensuring a bright future. So take that step, schedule that checkup, make those lifestyle changes. Remember, knowledge is power. The first step to managing high blood sugar is recognizing the signs. Take control of your health today. Because you deserve a life full of vitality, energy, and health. Don't let high blood sugar stand in your way.